And you indicated that the time of the recording was at 9.05 a.m., is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Now, Mr. Mark, showing you what was marked as People's 84. Do you recognize that document? Yes, I do. And you testified that that is a screenshot taken from the iPhone, correct? That's correct. And the screenshot is when the operating system of the iPhone will save what's displayed on the screen of the phone, correct? Correct. This screenshot does not tell you, however, that Dr. Murray, in fact, accessed those emails, correct? No, that's not correct. And showing you what's previously been marked as People's 90, do you recognize that document? Yes, I do. And that is an email from a Bob Taylor to Conrad, correct? That's correct. Now, below the two, there is a CC, correct? Correct. All right. And what is a CC? That would indicate others that that same message was copied to. So in addition to Conrad, that email was also sent to a Sean, Randy, Paul, Tim, and a John Silcock, correct? Correct. And that email that was shown to you as People's 90, that was uh, part of a series of linked communications, correct? May I see that again, please? Yes. That's People's 90? Yes. Yes, there, there, there were additional messages in that thread, yes. Okay, and in fact, there is what we see, a forward colon M. Jones, correct? Correct. Your Honor, I have uh, four pages of emails that I'd like marked as Defense Exhibit L. Collectively, L as in Lima. May I approach the witness? You may. Thanks. Mr. Mark, do you recognize what's contained in this document? Yes, I do. And would it be fair to characterize this as a thread of emails? Yes, it would. And would a thread essentially be a series of linked communications? Correct. Okay. Now I'm showing you page four of defense exhibit L. Your Honor, can we turn off the lights, please? Sir. Do you see that, Mr. Marks? Uh, yes, I can. And that is an email from a Justin Burns to a Ian France, correct? Correct. And the date is June 22nd of 2009? That's right. And you see the uh, body of that email? Yes. And can you read what's stated in the email starting from the word clearly? <clears throat> clearly his performance is very physical and we would want an expert musculoskeletal orthopedic surgeon to advise him on his ability after uh, I believe it's so many years without being on stage to perform the person who would be involved is the most expert I'm sorry without being on stage uh, the person uh, involved is the most expert orthopedic surgeon in the UK and advised many high performance athletes I'll stop you there. Thank you. Now showing you page three of four of Defense Exhibit L. Do you see and recognize that document? Yes. And that is a email from Justin Burns to Ian France on June 24, 2009, correct? That's correct. And does this appear to be a response to the previous email that we were just talking about? Was this directly above that previous yes. email? Yeah, yes, it does. Okay. Now, can you read paragraphs five and six of this email, please? The whole media circus has also ensured a very negative edge to the situation. As you know, there have been several occasions we have asked the... Um, I believe it's, there's a, a character missing, so it's, uh, 
and it's also blurry. Could you sharpen that for me, please? Yes, of course. Do we have the document in front of the witness, Your Honor? I don't know that it can. Would no. that help you? Uh, it would help, yes. May we do that? I, I wish I could give you some light, but uh, do the best you can, please. Could we do that, Mr. Gorgian? Yes, of course, Your Honor. May I approach? You may. Uh, we've asked the assured to confirm or deny press speculation always with no response. And number six, there have been several high-profile medical issues over the years, either confirmed by the Act, his management, or in the court of law, none of which appear in the medical originally submitted for our consideration. Thank you, Mr. Marks. And now showing you page one of four of Defense Exhibit L. Do you see and recognize that document? Yes. On the bottom of that document, there is an email on June 24, 2009 at 1037 a.m. from a Bob Taylor, correct? That's correct. And that is in response to the email that we just referenced to prior to this, correct? If this follows this exactly, yes. It, it was the previous one, yes, it was. Showing you page two of four of Defense Exhibit L, which would be the continuation of the email we were just referencing, correct? Correct. And this is the email from Bob Taylor, correct? Correct. And this would be the body of that email, correct? That's right. Okay. And the body of the email over here reads, insurers have, however, refused to move on this as having consulted with the doctor and given the huge amount of speculation in the media regarding the artist's health, they feel that if they are to consider providing illness cover on this particular artist, they must have a very thorough medical report, correct? That's correct. Can you read paragraph number five that's reflected in the uh, body of the email, please? We must locate and supply the year medical record as a top priority. The insurers have been firm from the very beginning of the coverage that they will only give illness cover after completion of a further medical and also a re review of MJ during a rehearsal. We have made numerous efforts to remove these stipulations. And could you read what's after that as regard the sentence that begins with as regards to? As regards to item five, I understand that Dr. Murray is to uh, contact me shortly in order that I can guide him on what is needed. And showing you page one of four of Defense Exhibit L, do you see and recognize this document? Is that the document we were just reading from? This was the first page of that document. Right, yes. In response to the email that we just referenced, subsequent to that, there is an email from a Paul Gongawer on June 24, 2009, correct? That's correct. And in addition to Bob Taylor, that email was also sent to Sean Trell, Tim Woolley, Dr. Conrad Murray, and Randy Phillips, correct? That's right. Okay. And the body of that email reads, Bob, Dr. Murray copied here. We need to do this at MJ's house. Dr. Murray can comment on the availability of the records, correct? Correct. Now, subsequent to that, we have an email from Bob Taylor sent June 24th to Paul Gondor, correct? That's right. In addition, it was CC to Chantrell, Tim Woolley, Dr. Conrad Murray and Randy Phillips, correct? Correct. And that email begins with Paul, 
they will not accept that. They are insisting that this be done in Harley Street, a 50 minute drive at that time of day, correct? Correct. Okay. So it appears there's some kind of medical or emergency in regards to the artist's insurance, correct? I, I, don't, I don't know if I could characterize it as emergency. There's certainly concern. There's a concern regarding the artist's insurance? It appears to be. Okay. Now, finally, there's an email from a Bob Taylor on June 25th at 1.54 a.m., correct? Correct. And that email was cc'd to Chantrell, correct? Correct. And are you aware that Sean Trell works at AEG Live? Jackson Galvin, to be honest, so this witness. Same. Okay. Sean Trell's email, however, is strell at aeglive.com, correct? That's his address, yes. Okay. And it was also cc to a Tim Woolley? Correct. And Tim Woolley's email is Tim. Woolley at earthlink.net? That's right. And a Randy Phillips was also cc correct? That's right. And his email was rphillips at aeglive.com, correct? Correct. Thank you, Mr. Marks. Nothing further, Your Honor. Mr. Gorgian, thank you. Do we have the lights on? Redirect, Mr. Walgren. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Just one moment. Mr. Gorgian is going to retrieve the exhibit. Thank you. I reopen on one issue. Read it. You may, and uh, the defense may reopen as well. Mr. Marks, uh, the iTalk application, in order to activate that, does one need to manipulate the iPhone and uh, essentially open up that application and activate it manually for it to record? Yes. Okay. May I see defense L? Mr. Marks, in, uh, as referenced in defense L, uh, what is essentially this four-page chain of emails, uh, it's fair to say there's multiple references uh, to uh, individuals involved being concerned about obtaining the five-year medical history from Michael Jackson. Is that accurate? Yes, it is. Okay. And as you indicated in your questioning by defense counsel, this entire chain of emails was, in fact, uh, forwarded to uh, Dr. Conrad Murray by his email address. That's right. Okay. And the email chain in question, um, the latest date on there, in other words, we have a date of June 22nd, June 24th, um, and the final date being actually on the first page of the document, June 25th, 2009 at 1.54 a.m. So again, that would be Pacific Daylight Time here in Los Angeles. That's right. Okay. And part of that email received June 25th at 1.54 a.m., uh, that entire chain was sent to a Dr. Conrad Murray at sbcglobal.net, correct? That's right. Okay. And subsequent to that, uh, the email was sent, uh, as defense counsel characterized it, as part of this chain of emails, People's 91 uh, was sent uh, to Conrad Murray then the same day, but at 5.54 a.m. Is that accurate? Yes, it is. Okay. And then in People's 92, the same day, but now 11.17 a.m., uh, from Conrad Murray, in response to this entire chain of emails, he states, as far as the statements of his health published by the press, let me say they're all fallacious to the best of my knowledge, correct? That's correct. You know that word fallacious to mean false or misleading? Yes, I do. Thank you. Nothing further, Your Honor. Mr. Walgren, thank you. Mr. Gorgian, we cross, and you may reopen cross if you'd like. No, Your Honor, thank you. Thank you. May Mr. Marks be excused by the people? Yes, Your Honor. By the defense? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Marks, I want to thank you for your testimony. It's a little easier.